I'ma tell you this one time Boy, I want you to be mine Can I come see you now? Can I lay with you outside? Can I touch your lips with mine? Cause I need it now Don't wanna leave, I just wanna be here by your side You make me feel and believe that we in bed Cause I don't feel the ground no, I don't feel the ground But I'm feeling right I tell you what it's all about Cause it make me feel this way It's kinda like, whoa Um, so today is Sunday and I think I want to do a dedicated shopping day shopping in store um, I honestly have not been shopping in store in New York in literally a few months probably September like a dedicated like shopping day I'm not talking about like the little cute Zara pop-ins when you're like coming home from work or going on your usual errands like a dedicated like i'm going to go find this particular thing um so i haven't done that in a while um and there's a few new stores that i want to check out um but i think i want to do more vintage shopping today um i want to see what's out there um i also want to see if i can find some vintage decor for the apartment um for some of the stores that i want to go to i definitely want to go to a wet um, in Soho and that is a concept store um, it's founded by a um, it's a black owned concept store um, I believe the founder is either I think the founder is Ethiopian and the store was opened in 2020 and it's basically a concept store that houses mainly black and brown brands um, they have a dedicated floor space for that um, they also have like furniture interiors just objects just a really cool like conceptual concept store um and i love that it's all you know poc brands um so i want to check that out and i know they did something for fashion week i think they had an event or they had like the brands that are housed in their store had a separate showroom or something like that for fashion week so i want to do that and then maybe i want to hit up dover street haven't been to dover street in forever um, I kind of want to see what they got there. I think those are only two. And then maybe I might head up to Fifth Ave after seeing what Brooklyn and Soho have. And see what we can do on Fifth Ave. Just do a little pop in there. Um, yeah, so I think I want to take you guys along to see, to show you how... I shop, how I look at things, also to show you some new stores if you haven't um, been there. And yeah, let's go, let's go shopping. <laughs> For the outfit, very simple. When I'm like running the streets, ripping and running, especially when it comes to like errands and shopping where I'm like walking a lot, I do not try to look like super, super cute. Mm -mm. And it's cold outside, it was snowing yesterday, like I'm not doing all that. So I have this hoodie. It's like a two part piece hoodie by Amendment. I got it 
I believe in 2020. Um, it was a whole capsule collection that was on Ukes. Um, and I really like the brand. The brand has really cool, unique pieces. A lot of things are kind of like spliced and pieced together. Um, so you never know where something starts, where it ends. So this is the hoodie. I have a t-shirt too that has um, like multiple different t-shirt necklines all across it. This is the hoodie version. So you have your regular hoodie in the front and then you have a hoodie across the back. And it's the same sort of kangaroo pocket oversized hoodie at the front and the back and then you have the sleeves are also pieced around the navy blue sleeve so it's a true like two-in-one hoodie which I love so yeah I'll put the whole thing together for you guys um but let's go <laughs>
So I wanted to come on here and do a try on talk through of my vintage shopping little excursion that I did the other day. Um, I went to L Train, uh, 2nd Street, Search and Destroy, uh, Metropolis, and then a wet, which is not a vintage store. So I found a few things. Um, I didn't get too much. I think so far I only have five pieces that I got. Um, I saw some things and see too much. Um, you know, with vintage shopping, it's kind of hit or miss depending on the day or the week that you go. Um, so I'll show you what I picked up and see how I like it. So the first thing that I got, which I think is a fantastic find. Like, I can't believe that no one picked it up or was looking at it or touched it. It's this vintage moto leather spray painted airbrush members only jacket. And I don't think the light even gives it justice for how it looks like in person. Ugh. I think this is such a cool find. It honestly reminds me of one of my favorite emerging designers, um, Jarrett Jacobs. He does a lot of like spray painted, airbrushed um, portraits on leather. Um, and this kind of reminded me of that type of style that he does. And for me, I am such a sucker for a treated leather. Like I love anything that has been painted on, whether you have um, a specific treatment on it, uh, spray painting, airbrushing, manipulating the texture, um, agitating it to um, get like that pebbled leather effect, dyeing it. Like So basically anything that can manipulate the look visually and the texture of leather, I'm a fan of. I don't have too many just regular like black leather coats or jackets in my closet. A lot of things have some type of treatment to it. And that's how I like it. Even though um, there's a lot of peeling and fraying around the collar. I think it adds to like the story of this jacket. I think because it has like the spray painted effect, which is very casual, like nothing's in a direct, you know, pattern or it's not placed. It's kind of just all over. Um, I don't know. It kind of adds to like the, just the vintage feel of it. Um, so I really like it. And it was only $69. So this is a new fave. I can't wait to, you know, get it together, heal it, treat it, and wear it, and style this one. This one is gonna be very, very fun to style. So the next piece that I got, it's a little ridiculous. I don't know where I'm going to wear it yet. Um, I don't know how I'm going to style it yet. Does it need an occasion? Kind of. Is it a little bit ridiculous? It is. Do I care? No. Because it's just that good. So I found an authentic leather moto track suit, flight suit, moto uniform, whatever the people on the bikes wear and the race car drivers wear, I got it. And it's in this beautiful blue and cream color story. So you have this beautiful turquoise here, then you have more of your classic blue, the navy, and then you have your cream or white around the sleeve. This is made by Haro, Haro Delta. 
and I looked it up and Haro is a authentic leather goods manufacturer and they specialize in producing I guess uniforms and gear for motorcyclists people in the moto vehicle industry that's the best summation I could get from it um so yeah and apparently these like this particular brand of um motorcycle suits are very popular on ebay um there's like a ton of them so in second street it was between this blue jumpsuit or an all red and white one and the red and white one looks so cool like i knew that one would hit once i put it on but it just had too much wear and tear on it it was just like not even kind of worth it this one has less wear and tear on it um and of course it still has some staining some marks a little bit of wear down on the leather itself but for the most part i think it's in a decent condition to wear and i, I also think the vintage wear of this moto suit adds to the overall look of it um because it is a functional motorcycle suit like i could wear this and hop on a bike and be like all good this one I love. I'll, I will definitely try it on for you guys. Um, I'm thinking about trying it with a boot, like a combat moto boot, and then also a heel. I'm really interested to see how it looks with a heel. So let's try this one on. Next, we have a really interesting find. I was surprised that I found this in Second Street, and I was very surprised at the price. Um, we have these Kim Shui denim floral corset pants. $33. I was like, wait, huh? I would say that this is one of her like more signature styles or silhouettes because she does a lot of the corsetry detail throughout um, her collections. And I remember she makes these pants in like all types of fabrications, colorways, everything. So I think this is a really unique find for the price um, for this pant. I think these retail around, I want to say $200 to $300. So $33 is not bad at all. Let's try these on. I'm <laughs> 
found some white leather pants from FUBU um, at L Train. I don't have any white leather pants at all. So I saw these, these were kind of sticking out on the rack of all black leather. So I was like, let me see what these are giving. And they're cute. Um, typical marks and a little bit of tinting and staining with the leather, but it's not too bad. Um, definitely could be treated. And of course you have the FUBU embossing. And the last piece that I got are these acid wash denim jeans from WTO2. Um, I have not heard of that brand. I'm not familiar with them, but I kind of picked it up because it gave a little bit of that diesel super acid wash that we've been seeing for the past few years. In all honesty, I think that the diesel lead super heavy acid wash, the double denim on denim, all denim everything is kind of fading out that whole trend that we've been seeing for the past year few years I think that's kind of on its way out not quite there yet but it's almost there but I feel like you really can't go wrong with acid wash denim I think that's a staple um, so yeah if the trend dies who cares you need some acid wash denim in your closet and these are just your normal oversized uh, straight leg denim so not too much um, detail or anything going on here. Just jeans. So I'm quickly popping back in because I realized that there's a few more things that I did not share with you all that I have picked up from the past few months and I feel like this is a good time to do a little mini haul um, and a mini unboxing for a few of those things. Um, so yes, let me share some of those items. So I was graciously gifted two pairs of vintage designer heels for my mom. The first pair are these Chanel pumps, the classic black toe Chanel pumps. So we have the CC emblem at the back and then the classic black cap toe. And I'm actually surprised that these fit perfectly. I'm usually a size 40 to 41 in um, European sizes. Um, these are 39 and a half and they fit like a glove. Um, let's try these on. The next pair we have are these cream and black Jimmy Choo stilettos. They're kind of like an asymmetrical T-strap. Style, that's what I would consider it. I think for these, I want to style them with like black sheer tights and kind of do that, you know, ankle strap, stiletto, close toe moment with the sheer tights. I think that'll be cute. I have a I have a look planned for these, so let's try these on.
this next one I'm like super late on unboxing and showing it um, to you guys but this was a Christmas gift Fendi um, and I got the Fendi Olak bracelet in gold my parents got me and my sister matching um, Fendi bracelets for Christmas and so we have matching bracelets now from Paris and London trips so that's always so cute And that is all of my vintage haul. I might try to do these more frequently when it comes to vintage shopping, when it comes to decor, also clothing. Um, Cause I do like to shop the vintage stores um, on a frequent basis. So I think I'll do more hauls, maybe like a monthly vintage shopping check-in or something like that. Um, but I like what I found. I found some grails. I found some key pieces that I needed and I can't wait to style everything. Um, yeah, so let me know what you think, your thoughts. Also, as I get more integrated into YouTube content and posting more, um, I'm definitely trying to add more fashion content into all of my videos. That's kind of why I'm here. Um, so yeah, if there's any ideas, suggestions, or topics, or anything that might interest you that I can provide, leave it in the comment, reach out, let me know what you think. Um, I do have a few ideas top of mind related to fashion that should be coming out within the next few weeks. Bye!